Interchange 4th Edition by Jack C. Richards This class audio program contains recordings that correspond to the intro level student's book. Published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyrighted. CD 3 Unit 12 What's the matter? Page 78, Exercise 1, Word Power, Parts of the Body, Part A, Listen and Practice. Head, Eyebrow, Eye, Ear, Nose, Hair, Mouth, Tooth, Teeth, Chin, Back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, hip, leg, Knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Page 79, Exercise 2, Conversation. I don't feel well. Listen and practice. Hi, Kyle. How's it going? Oh, hi, Steve. Not so well, actually. I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. I have a stomach ache. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A glass of soda? No, but thanks anyway. Well, I'm going to have some pizza. Is that okay? Page 79, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel sick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Horrible. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. Page 79, Exercise 3, Part A. Listen and practice. He has a backache. He has an earache. She has a headache. He has a stomachache. He has a toothache. She has a cold. He has a cough. She has a fever. He has the flu. She has dry eyes. He has a sore throat. Page 80, Exercise 4, Listening. What's wrong? Part B. Listen to the conversations. Check your guesses. 1. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Really? Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. 2. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, it's my eyes. They're really dry. 
Well, take a break, Marta. Finish your work later. Okay, thanks. Three. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache, and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Get better, okay? Four. Ow! Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My elbow and wrist feel terrible. Ouch! Do you want to take a break? Good idea. Page 80, Exercise 5, Snapshot, Common Medications, Listen and Practice. Cough Syrup, Cold Pills, Antacid, Muscle Cream, Cough Drops, Eye Drops, Aspirin, Nasal Spray, Page 81, Exercise 6, Conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Page 81, Exercise 7, Listening. Let's take a look. Listen to Dr. Young talk to four other patients. What does she give them? Check the correct medications. 1. How are you feeling today, Chuck? Not so great. I have a really bad earache. Let's take a look. Hmm. I'm going to give you some aspirin. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Don't go swimming for a week. 2. How do you feel today, Pam? A little better, but I have a sore knee. It really hurts, actually. Hmm, let me see. Yes. Well, I'm going to give you some muscle cream. Rub some on your knee three times a day. Okay. Thank you, doctor. 3. What's the matter, Joey? I think I have a cold. I feel awful. I have a sore throat and a headache. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, you have a cold. Let me give you some cold pills. Take one every four hours. <coughs> Do you have a cough, too? Yeah. All right, here are some cough drops. I hope they help. Four. What can I do for you, Sandra? I have really itchy eyes, and, well, it's my nose. Is it difficult to breathe? A little. I think it's my allergies. I see. Well, try these eye drops, and I'm going to give you some nasal spray. Thank you. Page 81, Exercise 8, Pronunciation Sentence Intonation Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these sentences. Take some aspirin. Try these eye drops. Use some muscle cream. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. Page 82, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. 
Imperatives. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. Page 83, Exercise 12. Reading. Ten simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in ten very simple ways. One, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight glasses of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Nine, wear a seatbelt. Every year, seatbelts save thousands of lives. 10. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Units 11 to 12 Progress Check. Page 85, Exercise 3, Listening. What's the matter? Listen to six conversations. Number the pictures from 1 to 6. 1. Hi. How are you? Oh, not so good. What's the matter? Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. I just don't feel very happy. 2. This hamburger isn't very good. Really? What's wrong with it? I don't know. It needs... something. Well, it has lettuce and onions on it. Yeah, but something is wrong. Oh, I know. Three. How do you feel? Terrible. I have a headache and my whole body feels sore. I think you have the flu. Go home and get some rest. Good idea. Four. Are you going to go to Angela's party? No, I don't think so. Why not? It's going to be fun. Well, it's a dance party, and everyone's going to dance. But I can't dance at all. Five. How do you feel today? Oh, about the same. Can I help you with your briefcase? It looks really heavy. Yes, thanks. I can't lift heavy things. Six. So, what are you waiting for? I don't know. She's pretty big. Is this your first time? Yeah. Don't worry. She's very friendly. Unit 13. You can't miss it. Page 86, Exercise 1, Word Power, Places and Things. Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. 
You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a suit at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Page 87, Exercise 2, Listening I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. 3. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. 4. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Page 87, Exercise 4, Pronunciation Compound Nouns Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post Office Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Page 88, Exercise 5, Grammar Focus. Prepositions of Place. On. On the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Page 89, Exercise 6, Listening. Where is it? 
Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? 1. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. 2. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park. Times Square. Rockefeller Center. The Statue of Liberty. Page 89, Exercise 8, Conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. <laughs>